I uh, am a bomb partner. I'm a videographer, but more than that, I'm a grandfather. I'm also a husband. Uh, I'm a biker. Uh, I'm a musician. I'm a lot of things. Uh, but each year uh, on Christmas Eve, I always read The Night Before Christmas to my grandchildren. This year, uh, it was weather was bad and it was late and I didn't get to their house on Christmas Eve so we did it over FaceTime. After doing that I thought about you know I am a grandfather. Fortunately grandfathers uh, tend to pass before their grandchildren grow up and, and really don't. So I expect to be around for a long time, but when I do go, don't be sad for me. I'm going to Valhalla. I'll be carried off by the Valkyrie, and I'll be drinking mead and, and doing battle with some of the greatest warriors that ever lived on the face of the earth. So I'm good with that part. The part I'm not good with is some of the traditions that I will that I want to leave behind. And one of them is this one, um, reading, it was the night before Christmas, and uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm I'm going to uh, I'm going to videotape this, and I'm going to uh, I'm actually going to make part of it public. There's going to be two copies of this. One will be public. The other will have a special message for my grandchildren at the end. I'm sorry, you're not going to be able to see that. But this is a night before Christmas, as read by a bomb. That just doesn't sound right, right? Night before Christmas, read by a bomb. Yeah. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama and her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With an old driver, with a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, as coarse as they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner, and Blitzen. There's the reindeer. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they met with an obstacle, mount in the sky. So up to the house the coursers they flew, with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a reef. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed, 
like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And lying a finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Ho, 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 ho. That was The Night Before Christmas by Clement C. Moore, illustrated by Tom Browning, and published by Sterling Innovation. Thank you for uh, sitting in with me here, and uh, this is where this part of the film will end. Good night. May all your Christmases be white. I am a bullet.